All right, guys, so I have a brand new video for you, and today I wanna to talk about something that's very special. We got somebody coming to Call of Duty who should be able to make some waves. All right, guys, so if you don't know who he is, his name is Mental. He's one of the best Gears of War players to ever grace the sticks. This is a console legend who has won multiple championships and he has announced that he's coming to Call of Duty. Now I'm particularly excited for this because I had the pleasure of playing some tournaments with Mental on Call of Duty while he was still competing in Gears and he was phenomenal. This kid was frying search and destroy players left and right when I played tournaments with him and I think he's gonna be a beast. Now Mental tweeted on August 31st of 2020 that really want to try and compete in COD this next season, willing to make the full switch from gears if the right opportunity is there and grind during the off season. If anyone is interested at all, let me know. And right when I saw this, I got extremely excited. You can see it got some traction here. Uh, some pros tweeting them like Octane saying, you want a team, bro? Bro, we can be the third set of twins. Uh, Jack Felling, who works with Activision, you're always welcome. She comes from Gears of War. And you just see a bunch of people showing him some support. Frosty, who switched from Halo, summons a legendary Gears player. Just a ton of people. I mean, you have GMs tweeting him, noted eyes. So clearly the community was anticipating uh, him coming over and people are very excited. The reason being, this guy is no slouch. He is one of the best Gears players. This isn't just a player from another eSport coming to Call of Duty. This is one of the best. You can compare this to Shotzi coming from Halo. You can compare this like Frosty coming from Halo. This is one of the best, if not the best Gears of War player on the planet. Now, he also tweeted on September 7, 2020, decided to step down and pursue a career in Call of Duty. Thanks to UIU for everything and my teammates for being the best teammates possible. Glad to have dominated the way we did for my final event with the team. Now, reading this, he said, decided to step down and pursue a career in Call of Duty. He hasn't announced what team he's on yet, but if he's deciding to step down after saying, only if the right opportunity is there, I think he may have signed something with a team. And this is exciting, whether he's a starter or a sub, if he can organically make his way onto a team and perform, I think that this guy can be an absolute unit in Call of Duty. I mean, let's take a look at some of his accomplishments. All right, so here's his achievements. I was scrolling down here and he barely has anything outside of the top four. I mean, he has a few here in some of these majors, but it's literally first place across the board. I mean, online and LAN, he's just been dominating. He's been on the most dominant squad, and he clearly has weathered the storm anytime it's been thrown his way. He's been able to win. Uh, if you go to the top here, he's won multiple tournaments over $100,000, plenty of tournaments at $80,000. So when the pressure is there, he's able to perform. I mean, he's had team changes. He survived all of these changes. Anything and everything that's been thrown at to him in his eSport, he's conquered it. So I think he's just tired of challenges in Gears because he's overcome all of them and he wants to face a new one in Call of Duty. Now let's look at how long he's been dominating Gears of War. So if you look back here, this is 2014 when he started to play and he was already winning big tournaments. I mean, $24,000 in 2016. Uh, so he has a ton of experience. I mean, all the way through 2017, it seems like he just absolutely dominated, hit some turmoil here in some online tournaments and then bounced back immediately with some first place finishes, a couple roster changes, and he still was on the squad, continuing to win all through 2018. In 2019, he continues to win 2020 faces some challenges and then he starts to win again so it's like this never-ending cycle for him and he ends up winning on august 2nd the gear season finals for a hundred thousand dollars i mean what more do you want from this guy in gears of war he's conquered everything it just seems like he doesn't want to do it anymore and he wants to pursue call of duty because we're getting bigger and better every year now i think that with the players that have switched over making such waves in call of duty and getting so much success i mean frosty winning a couple championships this year Shotzi winning championships. You look at Formal, he's won multiple championships. Enables won multiple championships. And they're not ever these players that are just slouches on their squad. They're always the star players on most of their teams or top talent, and they're winning events. So if you're bringing a player like this over, he's going to be a threat on the map. And I can assure you, after playing with him, he will make his way to a starting spot on a roster. I mean, just given all this experience and this championships that he has, he's going to bring an asset to a lot of these teams that they don't have right now a lot of call of duty players are not winners and they have not won i mean there's not many people who have won a major championship that are competing in call of duty right now i mean you have your your star players that you look at you know your hundred thieves players from black ops 4 you look at the optic gaming players you look at slack and apathy and a lot of the players that have retired they have a few championships but the majority of these guys do not have a championship so bringing a player like mental over can help some of these players get 
over the hump. You know, it can be mutually beneficial. You have a player who's won championships that knows that mentality, and then you have players who know the ins and outs of Call of Duty that can teach him the ways. Talent is there, obviously, with a controller, and with the switch to PC next year, he can use an Xbox controller on the PC. So I see no downside into giving him a shot, and I think he should get a sub spot and work his way up to a starting spot on a team. I think he'll be fantastic, and we'll see where this goes. But I thought that this is something that you guys should know. If you aren't familiar with Mental, go check him out. His Twitter is on your screen right now, at Mental, and I'll see you guys in the next video.